So uh, the exposure, um, what we needed to get a good exposure to get uh, the proper amount of uh, light into the camera, onto the sensor, uh, so you don't have an underexposed or overexposed or picture, but you have a correct exposed picture. Um, you have the shutter speed, the aperture and the ISO. Uh, just within photography it's exactly the same and they work exactly the same. Uh, the shutter, shutter speed, the aperture and the ISO, the sensitivity of the sensor is the gain. I hooked up a camera to a computer with Adobe on location which uh, gets the video signal and you can display it in uh, some graphical uh, views. And um, by that we will look at uh, some details of the picture. So on the left you see the picture, on the right you see a graphical view and now it is actually the whole picture you see and those are uh, the numbers that you see are, it's the brightness of the picture so zero is uh, very black and a hundred is uh, totally white and uh, if you look at uh, seven and a half down there that's actually the minimum of black that you uh, should have had in your uh, video picture. So if I uh, look at the picture what's in there it's actually uh, a ball and you can see the ball also uh, in the graphical view um, it's a slight curve up there. So we need a proper amount of light in this camera this picture is very dark it's underexposed so if you have to uh, fix this in post-production your quality will uh, reduce very big use the zebra function on the camera I also have it in here uh, the zebra function shows you uh, what uh, parts of the picture are overexposed and you can also set it to a different uh, um, percentage here it is 97 I believe compression is very hard I can't see it um, so you have a second zebra but I only use the first zebra now so now there's no zebra because it's very underexposed and um, if I open up my aperture, which should be happening right now, you will see that the picture will get lighter, but also my graphical view is up, going up. So what you see now is that the zebra is up there, and in the graphical view you see him also going up uh, above 100%. That's overexposed, you can't use that anymore. You, you well, try to get it under that 100 and uh, so without a zebra and you'll see in this picture that there's a, a piece of uh, uh, plastic that is overexposed and you see it also in the graphical view there um, this curve here that's the ball and uh, you see it up there in the screen um, if you want to get that one up to a hundred percent so that's almost overexposed then you see the zebra also uh, uh, appearing and that's clipping so there's too much light at there that area there are some parts still overexposed but we leave that for now This is the whole uh, picture that you see. If I click on line, you only see the line that you have uh, in the picture. I can move that up and down so you have different uh, checkings. Um, and if I put it on this color card and the ball, what you see is at the bottom here, you see uh, it's at seven and a half or even lower. It's totally black. It's the first picture of the first part of next to the ball. And then it, the ball starts um, going upwards because of course the intensity is increasing then it's going rapidly down because there's a piece of black and uh, then you will see that the color card is appearing and that's interesting because uh, here you see that the uh, brightness of the different uh, colors are very different so this graphical view shows the uh, intensity of the color um, the uh, eye level as they call it um, and um, you can see that the purple here is uh, pretty dark actually in uh, the graphical view because uh, uh, it's actually I'm going to move my uh, mouse there there that's one that's the one this is a piece of uh, gray the gray card that's next to it that's exactly 
50% uh, gray. And uh, then you see the peak there, that's yellow actually. And then you have a red and a purple also uh, and white. White is not really white because it's under 100%, otherwise it would be overexposed. And then there's swart, uh, a swart. there's black. It's of course depending on how much light is falling onto uh, the subject. The background is uh, very black, so that's deep black. So uh, you see very different uh, uh, brightnesses with very different uh, colors. So if you overexpose it, then you see uh, uh, that the colors are wide out, washed out. It's uh, clipping and you see it also uh, in the zebra. Check on this uh, YouTube link, uh, the shutter aperture and ISO again, so uh, you have a clear uh, view on those settings and what they do and how they work uh, before we continue.